A source that is very close to the Minnesota Timberwolves has said that he is looking like a monster. Apparently in these offseason workouts, his progression has gone to a whole nother level. We have never talked about this player on this channel, and it's kind of crazy if you think about it because we talk about NBA players, high school basketball players, college basketball players, NFL players, college football players, high school football players, and we haven't talked about Anthony Edwards still. I don't even understand it. I guess there's just been nothing to talk about this guy, and he stays out the news. And that's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. Like they say, sometimes no news is good news. There's a first time for everything, though, and we gotta talk about Mr. Anthony Edwards, aka the former number one pick. If you didn't already think he was scary, and trust me, I don't think anyone's gonna deny those claims, he is already a scary talent and a scary player. According to the sources, he's gotten even scarier. A source that is very close to the Minnesota Timberwolves has said that he is looking like a monster. Apparently in these offseason workouts, his progression has gone to a whole nother level. I find this rather fascinating because what is he right now? About 6'5", 225? I think that's fair to say. He's built, and especially for an NBA player, he's built differently. I would say he looks like a middle linebacker. Whenever you think of a point guard or shooting guard, you don't exactly think of somebody who has the body frame of an Anthony Edwards. You think of more somebody who's built like a Lomelo Ball, a Kyrie Irving, or a Stephen Curry. Throwing it all the way back though, when he was coming out of college and playing for the University of Georgia, I watched almost every single one of his games. And you may be sitting there asking, yo Matt, why in the crap were you watching that terrible Georgia team? And it was only because of Anthony Edwards. He was special and it was clear to see. However, the one thing I've noticed myself is he has already transformed his body from when he was at Georgia up until this point. I hope you understand what I'm about to say. I didn't think he was chubby at Georgia, but I necessarily didn't think he was in the best shape of his life. Look at where he was last year and look at his body and compare it to how he looked at Georgia. You can already tell in that first and second year in the NBA, he was toning up his body. And yeah, you do got to remember that comes with growing and maturing, but it also goes to show you how much he's been working out. Before we go any farther, I do want to make this clear. The reason I'm talking about this is because I see nobody else is, so I got to speak on it. I just don't understand it. Anthony Edwards, somehow, some way, he stays out of the news, and that is rare for a former number one overall pick. Hey, I don't blame the guy, because if I was in his shoes, that's how I want to live my life. I don't want people bringing me up and talking about me as much as they do with LeBron James, Chet Holgram, and Paulo Bancaro, and all these other former top picks. Anyways, getting back on topic, let's look at the cold hard facts. In 2020 through 2021, which was his rookie year in the NBA, he was awesome. He really was, man. This guy was a human highlight reel, and yeah, he messed up here and there, and he wasn't the greatest but you can't ask too much more out of him shot nearly 42 percent from the field shot 33 percent from the three-point line and averaged right at 19.3 points per game it was hard to hate on his rookie year he proved and showed why he was the real number one overall pick fast forward in time to last year though 2021 through 22 we got some different numbers to look at the one thing i love about edwards and i think it goes to prove this point even more that we're about to jump into is he does improve every single year you can see the growth in his game from high school to college to the nba year after year and maybe the scariest part about this young man is i don't even know if he's near his potential this guy is beyond talented and i think he can be as good as he wants to and that's scary last year though he jumped up all of his stats he averaged 21.3 points per game nearly five rebounds and four assists but here's the best stat line that nobody talks about he jumped up his field goal percentage nearly 2.5 percent to 44 and his three point percentage up to nearly 36. i'm gonna let you know right now if anthony edwards can shoot 36 to 38%, maybe 39, 40% from the three-point line, he's going to see a lot of success in the NBA. Because nobody in their right mind is labeling Anthony freaking Edwards as a three-point sniper. Would you like him to shoot around 39, 40%? Yes, but you got to be realistic. As long as he's shooting over 35, 36%, he's gonna be hard to stop this guy's a flat out beast may i remind you some of the dunks he's been pulling off he's a human highlight reel like i said earlier but what i like most about him and you won't see this anywhere on the stat sheets that's why i'm not too big into numbers is he's just a straight up winner. He has that uncanny ability to know when to press, when should I go off for 50 points, and when should I dish out 15 assists. He is what I would like to label a natural born leader. Now that I've showed you those numbers, I just want to give you a refresher. Let's get into what people are saying about him in these offseason workouts. A close source that has been watching all of Anthony Edwards' practices and workouts had to say this recently. It was about a couple of days ago. I have had some conversations with Wolves people over the last couple of weeks here now who have been around Ant, who have been in the workouts with him, and have seen him up close and seeing the work he's been putting in on his body, his game, and everything, the reports have been glowing. 
Continuing on, one person who was really close to Ant just said, John, just wait till you see him. Just wait. It sounds like he has really dedicated himself in this offseason going into the third year, which is kind of when stars make their leaps. And he's putting a lot into this. I think he's starting to understand the difference between working hard, what it is when you're a rookie and you're 20 years old, and what it is when you're a veteran and you really want to become an elite player in this league. Hmm, okay, but hold on. I got one more quote and it is the juiciest part and the part that everybody's freaking out about. Now, I'll touch on that statement in just a second. Well, actually, I'll, I'll speak a little bit on it now. I'm sure some of you remember all those rumors going on when he got drafted. People were even questioning if, one, he was going to work hard, and two, if he even liked basketball that much. I'll talk about that in just a second. Let me read you off this last and final quote. I've had multiple people just say that he looks like a monster. We will see what happens when the lights come on, when training camp comes in and the games get going. I've heard a lot of really rave reviews about how Ant is looking. Hmm, what about that? And I'm going to show you some of the highlights from his offseason workouts. And he looks awesome. I mean, come on now. I'm not going to hype him up and be like, oh, he's this or he's that. You know he's good. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what intrigues me the most. And you have to be keeping up with Anthony Edwards for about three to four years now to remember this. Or, my bad, probably two or three years. The only concern about this guy coming out of college was if, one, he was going to work hard. And two, if he even liked basketball. When those reports were coming out, I thought it was stupid. And I thought it was the dumbest thing I ever heard. I don't know where all that came from. And even Anthony Edwards, he denied all those allegations. And the only way to shut down those allegations and rumors it's not to deny it it's go out there and ball out and that's what he did and now you don't hear anybody bringing that crap up fast forward in time to our current day you're now having those same people say oh yeah this guy's looking like a beast and he's working harder than ever so here is my question and it's something we don't know we'd have to get a source to tell us this i know yeah i do got to bring this up there was reports that he didn't go too hard in his golden state warriors workout when he was working out for them going into the draft i'm sure a bunch of you remember those rumors i'm not going to spend too much time talking about them getting back on track either a people were lying about anthony edwards work ethic coming out of college or b he is actually now putting in some serious hardcore work in my humble opinion i I think it's a mix of things because you can see he's gotten in better shape and he's toned down his body he's looking more athletic and i would say right now he's at the best shape in his life i am going to take up for him though i never believed all those rumors about how he didn't work hard i believe it's kind of the same thing we've seen with Lamelo ball it's not that they don't work hard the game just comes easy to them and hey man that's how life is some people in this life they're six foot six 200 pounds and they're talented and you can Practice basketball hundreds of hours a week, and you'll still never be better than them. That's how life is. It's not fair. Should it be that way? No, but that's reality, and you've got to come to terms with it. Me, you, everybody watching this video, you could practice basketball for 40 hours a week, and Lamella Ball could practice for two hours a week, and he'd still be better than all of us. And that right there is what many people felt about Anthony Edwards. They weren't questioning his talent. Yes, he should have been the number one overall pick, but they were questioning his work ethic. We'll end the video off here. I just think it's really fascinating that those same people are now raving on his work ethic. Look how the tables turn. I do want to get this out there. Not a long video. I am very curious. Let me know your thoughts down below. But uh, Road to 1 Billy!